Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. This ordination liturgy is being live streamed and photographed by professional photographer. To maintain a spirit of reverence and solemnity, we request that no one take photographs or videotape during the liturgy. Please now turn off your cell phones and any other electronic devices. Thank you for your cooperation. Buenos días. <laughs> Bienvenidos a la Catedral de Nuestra Señora de Los Ángeles. Esta liturgia de ordenación está siendo transmitida en vivo y fotogra fotografiada por un fotógrafo por profesional. Para mantener un espíritu de reverencia y solemnidad, pedimos que nadie más tome fotogra fotografías o video durante la liturgia. Por favor, apague sus celulares y dispositivos electrónicos. Gracias por su cooperación. Please remain seated for the procession of the deacons and their wives.
he, the Lord is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. entered his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with songs of praise give thanks to him and bless his name how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love, he is faithful from age to age. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Amen. Welcome to our Cathedral of Holy Lady the Angels for the uh, ceremony of the ordination to the priesthood. This uh, 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 young uh, uh, deacons are going to be ordained priests today. Bienvenidos todos a la Catedral de Nuestra Señora de Los Ángeles para la celebración de la ordenación de los sacerdotes. Los ocho candidatos que van a ser ordenados sacerdotes el día de hoy. So let's start a celebration of knowledge in our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, oh my God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have already seen my thoughts and my thoughts before I have done my thoughts through my fall, through my fall, to my most previous fall, and for I ask, as the very heavy Christian, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Ya los vamos te bendecimos 
te adoramos, te glorificamos, te damos gracias, Señor. Gloria a Dios en el cielo y en la tierra pasado. Yo los tres celestial, Dios Padre Todopoderoso, Señor y lo único, Jesucristo, Señor Dios Cordero de Dios, Hijo del Padre. el pecado del mundo y en piedad de nosotros tú que quitas el pecado del mundo y te en nuestra suplicar tú que estás siendo el derecho del Padre en piedad de nosotros Solo tú eres santo, solo tú, Señor, solo tú, Altísimo Jesucristo, con el Espíritu Santo, en la gloria de Dios al Padre. Let us pray. Lord our God, who in governing your people make use of the ministry of priests, grant a persevering obedience to your will to these deacons of your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood, so that by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ who lives and raised with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a Timoteo. Querido hermano, que nadie te desprecie por tu juventud. Procura ser un modelo para los fieles en tu modo de hablar, en tu conducta, en el amor, en la fe, en la castidad. Mientras llego, preocúpate de leer públicamente la Palabra de Dios, de exhortar a los hermanos y de enseñarlos. No descuides el don que posees. Recuerda que se te confirió cuando a instancias del Espíritu 
los presbíteros te impusieron las manos. Pon, en, pon interés en todas estas cosas y dedícate a ellas, de modo que todos vean tu progreso. Cuida de tu conducta y de tu enseñanza y sé perseverante, pues obrando así te salvarás a ti mismo y a los que te escuchan. The word of the Lord. Cuenten las maravillas del Señor a todas las naciones. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Cuenten las maravillas. Canten al Señor un cantecio nuevo, cante al Señor toda la tierra, cante al Señor, bendigan su nombre. Day by day, tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the people.
Czytanie z listu do hebrajczyków. Każdy bowiem arcykapłan z ludzi brany, dla ludzi bywa ustanawiany w sprawach odnoszących się do Boga, aby składał dary i ofiary za grzechy. Może on współczuć z tymi, którzy nie wiedzą i błądzą, ponieważ sam podlega słabości. I ze względu na nią powinien jak za lud, tak i za samego siebie składać ofiary za grzechy. I nikt sam sobie nie wierzy tej godności, lecz tylko ten, kto jest powołany przez Boga jak Aaron. Podobnie i Chrystus nie sam siebie okrył sławą przez to, iż stał się arcykapłanem, ale uczynił to ten, który powiedział do Niego – Ty jesteś moim Synem, jam Cię dziś zrodził. Jak i w innym miejscu, Ty się z kapłanem na wieki, na wzór Melchizedeka. Z głośnym wołaniem i płaczem za dni ciała swego zanosił on gorące prośby i błagania do tego, który mógł go wybawić od śmierci i został wysłuchany dzięki swej uległości. A chociaż był synem, nauczył się posłuszeństwa przez to, co wycierpiał. A gdy wszystko wykonał, stał się sprawcą zbawienia wiecznego dla wszystkich, którzy go słuchają. Nazwany przez Boga kapłanem na wzór Melchizedeka. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and prayed saying, Holy Father, I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. I gave them your word, and the world, and the world hated them, because they did not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they may also be consecrated in truth. 
the gospel of the Lord. Let those who are to be ordained priests come forward. Deacon Guillermo Alonso. <laughs> Deacon Juan Cesar Carrasco Martinez. Deacon Juan Manuel Gutierrez Sanchez. Deacon Ramon Jesus Reyes. Deacon Camille Zbigniew Sokowski. Deacon Daniel Lopez. Deacon Justin Dominic De Luna Cordovesa. Deacon Daniel Vega. Most uh, Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of priesthood. Do you know them to be worthy? After the inquiry among the Christian people and upon recommendation of those concerned with their formation, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose this, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and especially you, my dear brothers who are about to be ordained. So I was saying is that they are a great joy for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, for your families, for each one of you, as uh, today we celebrate the ceremony of ordination to the priesthood. And I see that you are very popular. So. 
very good. So I pray for you in a special way. So, my brothers, how many different paths have you walked to reach this day? When you, be, when you will be called a priest of Jesus Christ, a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Guillermo, Juan Cesar, Juan, Ramon, Camille, Daniel, Justin, and Daniel. In the Gospel today, Jesus, as he's saying, he's referring to each one of you personally and with great love. Let us listen again. I gave, I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is true. As you send me into the world, so I send them into the world. Today, there have been ordained as successors of the twelve men at the Last Supper's table. Those twelve men whom Jesus consecrated, whom he called simply my friends. And he's reminding you today that you are not being ordained so that you can have an easy life. We all remember those stories about the apostles, how they argued about which of, them, which of them was the greatest, how two of them asked to be seated at his right hand and his left. The priesthood is not about statues. It's about sanctity and service. It is about holiness and helping other people. We hear in the second reading no one takes dishonor upon himself, but only when called by God. The world teaches us to look out for ourselves, to seek pleasures and comforts. Jesus Christ calls us to sacrifice and self-denial, to strive for greater things. He asks us to stop thinking about ourselves and instead live for others. And this is the most beautiful way to live. <coughs> Brothers, Jesus longs to do great things through you. He has given everything for you. He's calling you today to give everything for him, to lay down your lives for the gospel. And my dear brothers and sisters, as we all know, these are challenging, difficult times. There are so many signs of crisis. It is a time of uh, pandemic, of fear, uncertainty, and death. It is a time of social unrest and angry divisions in our country and in our world. And Jesus is sending all of us into a world that sometimes no longer remembers God. A world that no longer understands the beautiful truth of creation, the beautiful truths about the human person. These times, my dear brothers and sisters, call for courage and sacrifice. But most of all, these times call for love. Jesus gave us life so that we can share our life with him, so that we can know him and love him and walk with him on this earth and follow him to heaven. Our world needs this good news. We need to open the doors of faith for our neighbors to meet Jesus. No doubt that this time calls all of us to reflect on our participation in the common priesthood of our Lord Jesus Christ.
the fact that we all have a priestly soul. We are all called to intimacy with Jesus and to continue his apostolic mission. But as we grow in Christian perfection, we also understand much better the need for the ministerial priesthood. The church in this moment must be a place where every person can find God's mercy and compassion and the truth that sets us free. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. So my dear brothers, today's second reading is a special reminder to you and, and to all of us priests. We need to be very patient with people with their mistakes and weaknesses, because we ourselves are beset by weakness. So remember this when you are preaching, when you are in the confessional, when you are at the altar. The heart of the priesthood is the heart of Jesus Christ, which is a heart of love, a heart to sacrifice. Soon you will be at this altar, offering the sacrifice of his body and blood, his soul's soul and divinity to God our Father, interceding for you people as Jesus did. So I hope that you never lose that sense of Eucharistic amazement, that awareness, what a privilege it is to bring Jesus to you people. And when you raise up your arms to give a blessing, I hope you will always recall how Jesus stretched out his arms on the cross to offer himself as a sacrifice for others, to heal and to make peace. Brothers, Jesus entrusts this saving work now to you. Love him, obey him, Imitate him. Walk with him in friendship. As St. Paul says in the first reading, absorb yourselves in working for the salvation of others. Be a sign of Christ's living presence by your speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. My dear brothers and sisters, let us also pray for our brothers where are they today, and for all our priests. And let us especially ask Jesus every day that he will call many more men to this beautiful vocation of being his priests. Let us ask our Blessed Mother Mary to walk with our new priest and help them to open their hearts to follow and love her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Queridos hermanos y hermanas, ahora que estos hijos nuestros, de los cuales muchos de ustedes son familiares y amigos, van a ser ordenados presbíteros, conviene considerar con atención qué grado de ministerio reciben. Aunque en verdad todo el pueblo santo de Dios es sacerdocio real en Cristo. Sin embargo, nuestro sumo sacerdote Jesucristo eligió algunos discípulos que en la Iglesia desempeñaran en nombre suyo el oficio sacerdotal para el bien de los hombres. Él mismo, enviado por el Padre, envió a su vez a los apóstoles por el mundo para continuar sin interrupción su obra de maestro, sacerdote y pastor, por medio de ellos y de los obispos, sus sucesores. Y los presbíteros son colaboradores de los obispos, 
con quienes en unidad de sacerdocio son llamados al servicio del pueblo de Dios. Estos hermanos, después de pensarlo seriamente, van a ser ordenados para el sacerdocio en el orden de los presbíteros, a fin de hacer las veces de Cristo, maestro, sacerdote y pastor, por quien la iglesia, su cuerpo, se edifica y crece como pueblo de Dios y templo santo. Al configurarlos con Cristo, sumo y eterno sacerdote, unirlos al sacerdocio de los obispos, la ordenación los convertirá en verdaderos sacerdotes del Nuevo Testamento para anunciar el Evangelio, apacentar al pueblo de Dios y celebrar el culto divino, principalmente en el sacrificio del Señor. Y ustedes, queridos hijos, que van a ser ordenados presbíteros, deben realizar en la parte que les corresponde la función de enseñar en nombre de Cristo, el Maestro. Transmitan a, toda, a todos la palabra de Dios que han recibido con alegría. Y al meditar en la ley del Señor, procuren creer lo que leen, enseñar lo que creen y practicar lo que enseñan. Que su enseñanza sea alimento para el pueblo de Dios. Que su vida sea un estímulo para los discípulos de Cristo. A fin de que con su palabra y su ejemplo se vaya edificando la casa santa que es la iglesia de Dios. Les corresponde también la función de santificar en nombre de Cristo. Por medio de su ministerio alcanza su plenitud el sacrificio espiritual de los fieles. Que por sus manos, junto con ellos será ofrecido sobre el altar, unido al sacrificio de Cristo en celebración incruenta. Dense cuenta de lo que hacen e imiten lo que conmemoran. De tal manera que al celebrar el misterio de la muerte y resurrección del Señor, se esfuercen por hacer morir en ustedes el mal y procuren caminar en una vida nueva. Al introducir a los hombres en el pueblo de Dios por el bautismo, al perdonar los pecados en nombre de Cristo y de la Iglesia por el sacramento de la penitencia, al dar a los enfermos el alivio del óleo santo, al celebrar los ritos sagrados, al ofrecer durante el día la alabanza, la acción de gracias y la súplica, no solo por el pueblo de Dios, sino por el mundo entero, Recuerden que han sido escogidos entre los hombres y puestos al servicio de ellos en las cosas de Dios. Realicen pues, con alegría perenne, llenos de verdadera caridad, el ministerio de Cristo sacerdote. No buscando el interés propio de ustedes, sino el de Jesucristo. Finalmente, al ejercer en la parte que le corresponde la función de Cristo, cabeza y pastor, permaneciendo unido a su obispo y bajo su dirección, esfuércense por reunir a los fieles en una sola familia, de forma que en la unidad del Espíritu Santo por Cristo puedan conducirlos al Padre. Tengan siempre presente el ejemplo del buen pastor, que no vino a ser servido, sino a servir, y a buscar y salvar lo que estaba perdido. Dear sons, before you proceed to the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your resolve to undertake this office. Do you resolve to discharge unfailingly, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the office of the priesthood in the presbyteral rank, as trustworthy co-workers with the order of bishops in feeding the Lord's flock? Do you resolve to carry out the ministry of the Word 
worthy, worthily and wisely in the preaching of the gospel and the teaching of the Catholic faith. Do you resolve to celebrate the mysteries of Christ reverently and faithfully according to the tradition of the Church, especially in the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, or the praise of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? Do you resolve to implore with us the mercy of God for the people entrusted to you, with zeal for the commandment to pray without ceasing? Finally, do you resolve to be united more closely each day to Christ the High Priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all? ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. A God who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Let us pray dearly, beloved, to God, the Almighty Father, that He pull forth heavenly gifts in abundance on these His servants, who He was chosen for the office of the priesthood. Lord, have mercy. 
merciful to us sinners. Lord, give us to hear our prayer. Love and protect your holy church. Lord, give us to hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the ordained and faithful servants to your church. These chosen men, Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify these chosen men, Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these chosen men. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. Comfort all the troubled and the afflicted with your mercy. Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. Strengthen us and keep us in your holy service. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you to hear our prayers. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Hear us, we pray, O Lord our God, and pour out upon these your servants the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace, that you may surround with your rich and unfailing gifts those whom we present to you to your fatherly care for consecration. Through Christ our Lord.
draw near, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, after a human dignity and bestower of all graces, through whom all things progress, through whom everything is made firm, who by the power of the Holy Spirit, in order to form a priestly people, establish among them ministers of Christ your Son in various orders. Already in the early covenant, those are arose offices instituted by mystical rites. There arose offices instituted by mystical rites. So when you had set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in order and dignity to join them and assist them in their work. Thus in the desert, you instilled the spirit of Moses in the minds of 70 wise men. With them as helpers, he more easily governed your people. So too, over the sons of Aaron, you pour an abundant share of their father's fullness, that the number of priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you send your Son into the world, Jesus, the Apostle and High Priest of our Confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself unblemished to you and made his Apostles, who were consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. To them you added companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation to all the world. Now we pray, O Lord, Provide also for our weakness these helpers whom we need for the exercise of the apostolic priesthood. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, that these, your servants, the dignity of the priesthood, renew deep within them the spirit of holiness. May they hold the office second in order, receive from you O oh God, and by the example of their manner of life, may they inspire right conduct. May they be trustworthy co-workers with our order, so that by their preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may they be faithful stewards of your mysteries, so your people may be renewed through the cleansing waters of rebirth and refreshed from your altar, so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined to us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to them and for the whole world. Thus, may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ become your one people brought to perfection in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Take my heart, O Lord, take my hopes and dreams, take my mind with all its plans and schemes. Give me nothing more than your love and grace. These alone, O oh God, are enough for me. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre envió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio.
Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, y auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. May the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, grant and preserve you that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. May the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard you, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. May the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God.
Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Adverte, advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos. Y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos. Y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos. Y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos. Y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la cruz del Señor. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you will do. Imitate what you will celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you will do. Imitate what you will celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you will do. Imitate what you will celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross.
Jest zakątek na tej ziemi, gdzie powracać każdy chce, gdzie króluje jej oblicza, na niej cięte rysy dwie. Wzrok ma smutny, zatroskany, jakby chciała prosić Cię, Byś matczyną jej opiekę oddał się. Madonna, czarna Madonna, jak dobrze Twym dzieckiem W jej ramionach znajdziesz spokój i uchronisz się od zła, bo dla wszystkich swoich dzieci ona serce czoły ma i opieką cię otoczy, gdy jej serce oddasz swe. Gdy powtórzysz jej z radością słowa te Madonna, czarna Madonna Jak dobrze Twym dzieckiem by Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To you, thanks, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brotherly kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. 
They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with your word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give all their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, let us try to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your worthy servant, my assistant bishops, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damon, and all your saints, we ask this through their merits and prayers. In all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for these your servants, who you have been pleased to raise to the order of priesthood. And in your mercy, keep safe your gifts in them, so that what they have received by divine commission, they may fulfill by divine assistance. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the Resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, O Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Also remember, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest and sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Llenos de alegría por ser hijos de Dios, sigamos confiadamente la oración que Cristo nos enseñó. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hagas tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No
Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concede la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. La paz del Señor esté siempre con todos ustedes. Dense fraternamente la paz. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. El cuerpo de Cristo me guarde para la vida eterna.
Let us pray. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priests and to all your servants, that united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty, true Christ, our Lord. Amen. Uh, before we uh, give thanks to different groups of people, uh, we have the tradition of uh, praying the prayer for vocations. So you have it in your worship page on page 9. So if we can pray together and then we'll... Ready? Yeah. All right. So we pray together. Father, new generation, you for the minister of Christ and the church. Come before you now. As you call for all men, serve our skies as in the ministry of He was priest who lead and guide in holy people, gather our war and sacrifice. Let's also the priestly vocations continue to be a truly Eucharistic church. Strengthen our discipleship of Jesus Christ around the soul. Pray for years in service. I send out the grace for the very glory and for the good of your people. May God pray in the presence of our Holy Spirit, Christ. Please be seated. Now that our uh, new priests are already ordained priests, we're going to ask them to give us a blessings to the bishops. That will be your first. After the celebration, con celebration of the Mass, then you can give us a blessing, please. The brothers, if we can come.
was beautiful to see that the Lord and Andy already gave their blessing to the families. And so, thank you to you, all the families in the Andy. So a special thank you to the uh, parents and family members of the newly ordained. You are in our prayers in a special way, and thank you for everything that you have done for each one of, of uh, the newly ordained your members of your families. Also, I want to thank the, um, my brother bishops for being here with us, my brother priest, the deacons and their wives. Thank you for accompanying us in this beautiful celebration. A uh, special uh, uh, word of congratulations to Bishop uh, Robert Barron, who was recently appointed uh, Bishop of uh, Wellington uh, Rochester. We know Rochester. I'm a little loud, of, as you can see. So, congratulations. And especially, thank you for your, uh, what is it, seven years of service here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, especially on the uh, Santa Barbara region. Thank you very much. It's been an extraordinary blessing. Thank you. We're going to meet you, so for we uh, uh, pray that uh, for a successful now new assignment in the church. I uh, also want to thank all the uh, seminarians of the Archdiocese who are here. Would you please stand up? <laughs> and we have uh, also eight newly ordained transitional deacons. I don't know you all are here. Please stand. Congratulations. <laughs> they were, as you probably know, they were ordained last week by Bishop Byrne. So uh, now I'm there in the process of getting ready for a year from now to be ordained priests for the Archdiocese. Uh, so let's keep them in our prayers too. Special thank you to Father Marco Durazo and the seminary faculty and staff, and also Father Paulo Garcia, director of Green Avengers Center for Priestly Formation. So thank you for all your ministry and service to all of us. And obviously, a special word of congratulations to the newly ordained priest. Again, felicidades a todos. So, you already received your faculties and your assignments. So, I suppose that you are working starting tomorrow, no? <laughs> So hopefully uh, we see you soon in your new parishes. And again, congratulations, you are in our prayers in a special way. So please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, amen. Bow down your head for the blessing. May God who founded the church and God shall still protect you constantly with his grace that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. Amen. May he make you servants and witnesses in the world to divine charity and truth and faithful ministers of reconciliation. Amen. And may he make you true shepherds to provide the living bread and word of life to the faithful, that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Thank you very much to our choir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 